Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Medford, New York with Sean from Long Island Audit. And this time he's at the DMV antagonizing everybody in sight because he believes he has the First Amendment right to do so. Never mind the eavesdropping laws that New York has. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, nothing. I'm just working on a story here. Thank you. So we just uh, walked in here. Surveillance cameras in use. So this is the dreaded department of motor vehicles. Yeah. I'm not video. No, I'm just taking some pictures and video of the facility here, sir. On whose behalf? On my behalf, sir. You can shut it down. You can't. You're not allowed to. Why? Why aren't I allowed to? You are not. I, unless you are a customer. What do you mean? Of course, if I'm a customer of the DMV. If you want to talk to somebody, talk to a supervisor, sir. But you are not allowed to. Until then, you are not allowed. Can I get? To. You work for Allied Universal. Can I get your name? No. I can't get your name, sir. No. You want to talk to a supervisor, sir? I, I don't. I don't really need to talk to anybody, so sir. So why are you making a video? Well, I, if you identify yourself to me properly and you come at me with respect, then you start taking me respect, uh, then do you I can explain yelling? to you. Do you see me yelling? Just because you're not yelling doesn't mean you're being so uncooperative. I'm being respectful, sir. I'm just asking you, until you talk to a supervisor, just start making a video. Yeah, no. Unless, until then, after that, you can do whatever you want. No, I, I, this is a free country, so I can exercise my rights peacefully. Sean, you might be careful of New York State's eavesdropping law. I mean, a really good... Prosecutor could put you through the ringer on that one. Problem with that whole thing right there with the free country thing. If you could video of Tim, I don't really care about it. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm listening if, to you. If you're in a government building, mm -hmm. government office buildings or anything like that, it's against the law to videotape unless you have the proper permits or anything else like that. No, that's not, know, that's not true at all. It is true because I've I, I've actually gotten uh, almost locked up for doing that. No, so it's not true at all. They, then they violated your rights, sir. We, we violated in, my in, rights in, in, in the United States Constitution. Uh, the the Constitution, the First Constitution, Amendment. Yeah, that's fine. That's the First fine. Amendment. I'm trying to explain. I listen to you. The First Amendment grants us the right of freedom of press. Yes, I'm an independent of journalist. Is understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Mm -hmm. That is understandable. All right. But if you're a journalist, you ever notice if you go into uh, a deal with News 12 or something like that, they're outside on the curb because they know to come into a building unless you have the proper permits yeah. and the authority to do it. In other words, it's, it's just a bullshit pass you have to go get. You get that, you're allowed in. If you don't come in with that, right, it's illegal to film. In, it's for public safety. It's not because they're, they're trying well, to hide anything. They, they have cameras safety. all over the place. What, what's know, the difference? The difference is they're doing it for public safety, whereas you're doing it to make a profit off YouTube. No, it, it has nothing to do with public safety, sir. Really, it doesn't. There's nothing. I, un, I, I, I see your, I see you're trying to make a point, but I'm telling you that this is, you know, I do this professionally. I'm an, I'm an activist. I'm a First Amendment activist. You're an activist. I'm an activist and an independent journalist, and I exercise my freedom of press. And I'm telling you, I've been across this country, and there is no law that prevents you from filming inside of government buildings. Dude, most government buildings are privately owned and leased out to the government. And the owners make up the rules of what can be done in those buildings, such as the ability to film or not to film. Then you have to take into account that there's documents that might be private in buildings like that for people to videotape by accident and use for nefarious purposes. But I know you don't get that because you're a brain-dead moron. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yeah. You can't be recording in the building. Who, who are, hi, ma'am. How are you? Who are you? You cannot record in the building. Ma'am, hi. Can I know who you are and I'm your position here? I'm a supervisor. Here? You're a supervisor for the, the, the DMV? I am. And your name? You are? I'm asking you for your name, ma'am. And then I'll gladly Listen, tell you who I'm I am. Not playing these games. What games? Why do I have to be playing to games? Play yeah, because go ahead. Have a good day, sir. You can't record. No, but nobody's playing games with you. I would ask you to calm down, take a deep breath, right, and de-escalate okay. the situation. So, last time I'm going to say, you cannot record in the building. Why is that? Is it against the law? It's a state building. This is state property. State You're property, not meaning public property. In the building. 
So why would that be, man? Run away, or we can call the police. You do whatever you need to do. Okay. You do whatever you need to do. After she walks, he spends the next few minutes badgering a security guard, and then walks out, believing he's proven his point. But the only real point he makes is that he's a entitled jackass, anyway.